um, you know, you guys can do the same thing. Same exact thing. Just understand what the big players in the market are doing. Follow price action. Be able to read the market. You got to know what they're doing and, 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 and follow them. Um, so I'm not telling anyone not to follow the strategy that you already learned where the case is. But sometimes you really got to like take a step back and look to see if you're actually doing the right thing. If you're trading the right way. Um, trading, like I keep saying, is not a red light, green light, you know, type of uh, um, business. You know, because it's treated as a business. If you're day trading and this is your way of making money, it's a business to you. You know, um, it's just a better business because you're your own, you you are your own boss and you control your own destiny as far as how much you want to make, how, how long you want to stay in the market. I'm not greedy, so you know, I just take what I can get and get out. I just look at look for setups. Um, so if you feel you may be doing the wrong thing or following someone that gave you wrong wrong advice or show you the wrong way or or, or continue, you know, you're following people that are selling you indicators, whatever case is. I don't use indicators, guys. I mean, in a sense, like I don't use them. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to look at the, you know, EMAs and things like that. I'm not saying they don't, they don't, may not help steer you um, to maybe stay a trade longer, whatever the case is, if you're a trend trader. But I think maybe those type of things may may work for uh, position or swing traders. What did I say? What did I say, guys? 44.39, okay, I count the 44.40, boom, my point, you know, uh, I'm pretty dead on to where the price is going to stop and pause that before it decides what it, wants to, what, it, what it wants to do next. So getting back to what I was saying, um, in trading, guys, if you feel like you're doing the wrong thing or you're not, you know, you feel like well, I'm, I'm, I'm having more losers than losses, my win to loss uh, ratio or, or margin or whatever the case is, is low, whatever the case is, you have to be able to figure out what possibly you're doing wrong and take a step back and say, well, maybe how I'm learning how I learn how to trade is maybe not the correct way. Maybe not. I mean, pure, I'm going to give you, I keep saying this. If you're a new trader and watching this video here right now, um, what I can tell you right now to do is uh, learn price action. First and foremost, learn price action. Trade a bare naked chart, nothing on it. I guarantee you, if you trade a, a naked chart with nothing on it, and learn price action, you're going to stick to that. You're going to stick to it because that is the holy grail of trading. It's the only way to trade is to understand price action. And by understanding price action, price movements, it's going to help you understand what the markets, what, what the, the big players in the market, the banks, institutions, what they're really trying to do. You follow them. And that's the way to actually trade, guys. And that's the only way to trade. Like I keep saying, it's not if you're reading a book. You read it to understand the material, whether it's something that you're learning for your job or something for, for, for school or whatever the case is, if you're in college or whatever it is, um, to understand the concepts, to understand the the uh, theory, to understand whatever it is that, that, that you must gain the information from that particular uh, book that you're reading. It's the same thing. You read the structure of the market. You read and follow what's going on. Versus having to read words, you have to follow this visually. And when, how you follow visually is through those paint, those, those candlesticks. It's painting a picture for you. So follow that, guys. Be able to read that. Price action. It took me a while. I'm not even going to sit here and even front a lot to you guys. It took me a while to um, learn price action because I probably just like many of you guys out there, learn the incorrect way okay and then i had to take a step back and i had to go back to the drawing board probably multiple times to figure this out and i did but let me tell you what i had to do i had to watch the old thoughts the old habits that i had inside my mind and what i learned maybe from from someone else take them completely out of my head and start fresh all over again wash all the old habits away and start new that's what i had to do i had to go back to ground zero and start over and eventually, I became slowly uh, successful. My win, my uh, uh, win to loss trade, um, my win to loss ratio or margin, whatever, slowly started to go up, go up. Meaning, I was having more wins than I was having losses. When you start to show have consistency in your trading, in your trading, then that's when you know you're onto it. Okay, and then it's going to click, and you're going to say, "Gracious, it took me this long to get here." And not everyone, it may not take you as long, but just feel confident about yourself. Feel good about yourself. It's just like when you, anything else you do in life, you know, when you've defeated it, what happens? You feel confident. You feel good. So eventually, guys, you will become great at this, okay? It's no scientific, like, calculation. There's no scientific, like, uh, 
you know, a uh, uh, mathematical formula to figure this out. It's just simply just being able to read, read the market. That's all it is. So, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike, and I am uh, getting ready to start my trading session here. Uh, this will be another uh, uh, recording here of me live day trading the E Mini S P 500 futures. I want to start off and say thank you guys for everyone who can follow the channel and uh, has been subscribing to the channel as well. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and watch the video. This is my live day trading session, uh, a recording here of me trading on my um, of me trading the E Mini S P 500 and, and recording my live session here. So. Um, as I always do like to start off, I always like to go back and look at the prior day, of course. So what happened yesterday, guys, in the market? Well, uh, we continue to get, after that sell-off from last week, um, we we started to get these swings to the upside here, uh, getting these higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. So we're kind of stair stepping to the upside. We did that yesterday continuously, um, and we broke above, well, we're price pushed up right here pulled back okay now it didn't make a lower low okay it was setting itself up to possibly push higher which it did it ended up breaking a um formation of a swing so it was pushed up pulled back and it was pushed higher making a formal swing here okay now the formation of a swing it finally broke above 43.95 and it uh, pushed up then it, it went up again it uh finally broke that area pushed up pulled back Okay, made another swing to the upside. Um, then it pulls back, breaking you know uh, the prior uh, swing low right here at forty three seventy five uh, before pushing higher. So you know you just had to follow price action within the market and what it's trying to do. So um, right now, and going into the overnight session, we actually you know we, we push higher. Okay, we finally broke above and. Uh, broke above and made another swing to the upside. Pushed up, pulled back, pushed higher. Okay, so right now, what is the market trying to do? Well, the market is trying to uh, right now move sideways. So um, it did push up here, it pulled back. Okay, it has not broke the swing low, the prior swing low, which was this swing low right here at forty three seventy two. All right, so we're kind of moving. We're just moving sideways within a swing. Okay, we're moving sideways within this swing right here okay the high right now uh, for today's session is at 43 excuse me 44 24 and three quarters so we possibly could be um edging to push higher so um let me take a look as i always do to see if we can identify some levels let's see was this a level of price bounce from right here let's take a look and see um let's see here well, on the 12 range, it's definitely not a level for me to be trading from. Um, what I like to see price do at this point is, let's see. Price push higher. Okay, pull back. Okay, pull back right here. And then it, uh, it pushed higher. Okay, so let's see. Just looking at my charts, guys. So please bear with me. Yeah, let's look, let's see if the price is going to push higher. I mean, it's broke above this little wick here, um, this high here, forty four twenty four, which is today's highs. But let's see what it does. Um, if we're going to get some good interest into the market today, we do have some areas of resistance sitting out above us. We're in this area right here of area of resistance from the seventeenth of September, just a few days ago. So. Price could um let's see here. Price may try to break this area, but we did we did, we have another area of resistance here, so we have to be mindful, guys. Okay. Okay, so price price could fail here and reject. That's what I'm trying to say. We could get a um some rejection here. So oops, sorry about that. So I'm looking to see what the market's going to do here. Um, oh gracious! Okay, so we could get some failure or rejection here. So let's see what happens here, and I may take a trade short. Let's just see. Um, let's 
May. It just depends. I have to see, you know, some failure. But right now the market is kind of trying to re, uh, recover some of that loss. You see? Now it's pushing higher. Okay. So it's pushing higher, trying to push higher. All right. And we have resistance in this area up here. So, um, okay. So it's at kind of the lower end of this high volume area here. You see on the 60 minute chart, um, which is a higher, higher time frame. So I'm not saying that price can't fail and, um, you know, stop here, and bounce here, but let's just see what price does. Um, let me see something. Okay, let's see, let's see. Yeah, price is trying to push higher, so. But we are in an area of. Um, yeah, it's breaking higher. Um, an area of resistance right here, so. Okay. So it's bullish right now. And it's not really giving us any areas of pullback, so let's hold tight and see what happens. I'm just going to hold tight and wait for price to uh, pull back to some areas here and, and see what happens from there. Okay, so what I'm what I'm looking for is um, price to come back to this area right here, right here where I have this red line at. Uh, this is a to me it's, it's a level that I have marked. Um, this is a formation of a level going to a swing move to the upside, taking out some areas. Or some levels from the 17th of September this month. So let's see if price will push, come down to this area right here. I mean, it is building some volume right here where it's at. And, but I really wanna see price come lower. Uh, you see this volume here on the 12 range, on the, oh, that's the volume profile. So price is building some volume right there. Um, could it bounce right here? Yeah, it could bounce here and continue pushing higher, but, uh, personally, I want to see it kind of push a little lower and come down to this level that I have marked here on the 12 range chart. So we'll see. I uh, hope it's not one of those days where the market just keeps shooting, shooting, shooting higher, higher, and higher without giving us, um, you know, uh, any solid pullbacks to take trades from. So we'll see. It's bouncing right here, this small little micro level here at 44.26 and a half. So, let me see. It's bouncing right here at 44. It's bouncing there. Okay. Let me take a look. Yeah, I want to see it come lower. Um, uh, the, the point of control just shifted, so we're it's moved to the upside, which makes sense because that's you see this area right here is more volume traded in this area right now as of right now, price rotating here, here than um, any other time during today's session so far. So that's why they call it the POC. 
point of control. Just always think about the point of control. Whenever you hear me say POC or VPOC, it's the volume point of control. Um, that's just an area where majority of the, the, the trades are taking place. Majority of the volume, a bulk of the volume of trades is being taken place right now. And this is where people lose a lot of money at because, um, you know, it's just the market is just going to push and pull, tug back and forth. Sellers and buyers are going to go to go to battle here. Here, and if you're a retail trader, you're never going to win here. So, um, unless you know how to trade it right, and most of the time, I will, I don't like taking trades around the point of control unless I see a setup or see something that just like just knocks me over the head, and um, you know, I see that I should, should internet trade from. So I'm going to wait because we're at the point of control and get back. Okay, so the market is uh, still trying to push higher here, we see. Okay. It's definitely trying to push higher. But that doesn't mean that it can't fail here. That doesn't mean that, it, that the market... Um, you know, can't pause or stop here. So, and I say we're, we're we're looking at levels from the 17th um, of September to where the market sold off pretty heavy. All right. So let's see what happens. Is she going to continue pushing higher, breaking levels, or is the market going to pull back? Okay, here we go. Hmm. Yeah, uh, okay. Ah, I got to the trade too, too late here. And that's fine. Okay. Show you how I do this. How I do this one, I'm taking a short, guys. Come on now. There we go. Got field. See that? Took a short there. I was looking for rejection. I saw price. Um, okay, so let me. Okay, we got a POC. So typically, a price rejects an area as resistance, and you notice a rejection. It's going to come back to the POC. This POC is below it. So what I saw happening here, I, I, I was just mentioning to you guys that there was an area of resistance from the 17th of, of September, which is this area right here. Just swing right here. Price push down, pull back, and push lower. That was a swing to the downside. Price was having a hard time, you know, as we just saw on its way back up, trying to push through this, right? So it came here and it failed, all right? And what signified me and what I was really looking for was, uh-oh, uh, uh, was, um, it's probably gonna come down here and test probably 4427 area, I would think, somewhere around there, or maybe a little lower. But at least probably 44.27. The lows right here. This little swing low. All right. So what it did was when it pushed up there and rejected that area there from the from the 17th. All right. Um, it pulled back. Right. Okay. So when price pushed back up, it didn't close and break above this little small uh, this swing right here, did it? I mean, it's this the top end right here at 44.31. When price pushed up, pulled back, tried to push higher. You see the wick break above it, but a candle, a full candle does not close above it. Okay. So it didn't close above. When I saw that rejection, price rejecting, you know, on that wick and it closed to the downside, a little red candle right here, a little red candle. All right. That told me that the big players in the market, the institutions, the banks, they were trying to, to collect that money. At that area of resistance, where where the initial selling, more selling had taken place back on the seventeenth of September, so you gotta kind of think, guys. This is just not like real light, green light. You gotta you gotta use your mind to really think about you know things and, and what the market, what the big um, money movers are doing in the market. Okay, see price coming down. What did I say? What did I tell you? Where is it at? Forty four twenty seven already. Okay, I'm not. In any way, kind of being BSing anymore, guys. I know what I'm doing, so just please, just you know, just just take the time to think about things, okay? That's the biggest thing. See, bounce there, right? I say 44.27. I gave you the number. I told you the area. I told you the price level. Price is probably going to bounce at, and it came to it, did it not? And bounce. 
way before it even happened. Okay. All right. So, um, and that's what, what why I took that trade because I saw the rejection takes some taking place here. So basically, what happened was price is pushing up. Okay. Uh, the big players in the market were trying to test that area of resistance where this liquidity is sitting at. Okay. The market uh, bounced, pulled back. They were going up there testing that area again. And they, you know, once they collected that money, to hit that area of liquidity, boom, they moved the market real quick to the downside. If you really pay attention to what would happen there, once, once this wick broke above, what happened? I mean, it quickly shot down to the downside. That was the bank's institutions going up there, swiping that money real quick, getting that money, and then pushing the market down. Okay? I'm not saying they won't push higher. I'm not saying to jump in a, a sell trade right now and, and then then go, um, you know, keep riding a look short. No, you got to pay attention to what the market's doing. And because it can it'll do one thing one minute and the next thing it'll do something completely different. You have to pay, stay focused. That's why I'm not a swing trader. That's why I'm not a position trader. Um, first of all, it takes, it takes a lot of money to do that. Um, and to me, I, I like the fun and enjoy man, the ride of being able to do what I'm doing here. Day trading. I like the day trade. You know, make my time during the day in the morning, during the New York Stock Exchange session and trade um, and move and take my profit and move on. As simple as that. That's all I have to do. So this could be, I, I don't, this is not to me not a second test. I mean, because um, price is kind of moving sideways right now, but this was to me was the trade right here because it's already tested this area right here, this low right here. So um, I just hold off and wait. Okay. So that's how I trade that. That's why I traded that area. So we'll wait now, see what happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I just, I, I wait here because I, you know, price could push higher this is where they try to fake you out and you gotta be smart enough to know what's going on so you know if you guys want to learn the, the right way of trading you know it's it's you gotta know pure economics you gotta know how money moves in the market and, and, and why it moves the way it does because there's there's beings bigger than us that move the market and we just like i said we're retail traders so you have to kind of you know if you really want to know the pure rate the, the correct way of trading follow price action understand the market the market is live it's, it's it's a creature in itself and you got to know what it's trying to do at all times and just wait for the price to come back to a, an area or a level now this was not a pullback trade it was a pullback trade in the sense that i waited for price to pull back to an area of resistance and i took a short but because knowing you guys see me see me take a take longs um, yes, I personally like taking longs more than, sh than shorts, but I can also take shorts as well. All right, so let's see here. Um, so let's see where we're at. I have to keep going back because we're we're you know we're back. All right, so price is at still at an area of resistance. It's trying to break this area right here, guys. So this is pushing to the upside today, no doubt about it. It's trying to. All right, so we, you see it. We see you see where the the, the, um, the upper end of this high volume area, right? See that volume area there? We're at the upper end of it. So price is trying to break these highs here, uh, these swing, these swing highs here, or swing. These sw you see the swings here, pushing to the downside right here. Uh, price is trying to break the tops right there. So um, just be careful. All right, so let me look to see what the market has done um okay uh price could come back to this area here maybe at 44 28 and three quarters let me see first where the level sitting at i mean see when it broke when it did that um Five and a half. Oh, did it do that there? Uh, 
I'm looking at my charts, guys. It's kind of hard when price gets back out. Right, let's see. <clears throat> hmm. That's 35. Okay. There's 28 at. Okay. Yeah. 34 and a half. Okay. Price book above. Yeah, price come back down to 28 and a half. Um, I'd be interested there, possibly. Let's wait to see when price gets there to see what it does, of course. Um, sure thing. Let's see. Three, three and a half. Twenty three and a half. Okay, it's down here. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold tight here and wait for price to see what it's going to do. Uh, it is at an area of resistance, which is hitting against these highs right here. So, thirty-four and three quarters. Okay. Yeah. So, it is not taking the highs out so far. Uh, that high there at that swing top high right there at 38 and a half. So it's not taking that area out yet. Okay. All right. But there's two things going to happen. I mean, of course, you can see they're going to reject this area, push higher. Um, it looks like at this point right here that it may be trying to uh, 36. You break above that area. You got to just pay attention, guys. You got to really know what the market's doing here. Okay, 36 and a quarter. Uh, it is rejecting it. I mean, it's, it's bouncing out of area of resistance right now at a swing, at a top high right now. So it could bounce here and pull back to 28 and three quarters. So let's wait. All right, so and looking looking at this, guys. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. So I... Uh, I'm waiting. This is probably a short here. I just did it not. Um, yeah, not fully to me yet. Is a short. Um, yeah, so I will wait for more more clear clear direction. What I'm trying to say. Price may come back down to the VPOC though. So let's wait and see. Yeah, I'm not sure the market's gonna. Let's see here. Hmm. I think it's gonna to try to push higher. I could be wrong here, but um, to me it looks like it's trying to push higher. But it could come down here and test the point of control. So we still haven't broke these tops here at thirty. 38 uh, at almost 39 so we haven't broke those tops there but it looks like price is definitely trying to do so so we're talking 36 and a quarter yeah I think price is trying to uh, it appears it's trying to push higher Yeah, it looks like it's trying to push higher. Let's see, a little difficult right now. All right guys, I'm long here. 
Going for a quick little scalp. Price could come down, test this area here at 36 and a quarter, though. Could push a little lower, so I'm going long. We can't push a little lower here, I said. I just mentioned that. Uh, they hit my, I'm off by one tick of getting, feeling, of hitting my, my profit target. So it could push a little lower here now. Come down here and test this area here. Right here at 36. We'll see what happens here. Okay. It's no biggie. Okay, all right. Come on. Ah. I know it's not an area of support, so that's why I'm okay. Uh, it's bouncing right here. Okay. I need for her to see. I need for her to break this area right here. I didn't wait on. The, I didn't really wait. You know. I didn't wait on the 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 formation of the little structure I tell you guys about of the W. So I just waited. Um, I went ahead. I was aggressive because I knew price was gonna react in this area here. So. This is a this is a level right here. Probably should come up there and fill us and probably test um forty four thirty nine and a quarter and possibly a little higher at forty. Come on. See it not breaking that area. It has to break above thirty eight. I took a trade too early. Hmm. Took it too early. Uh where am I? Oh, okay. Ah, I see. Yeah. Thirty-eight fifty is really the area, thirty-eight and a quarter. Ugh. Okay. Well, if you're going to go up, go up. I know you want to go up. Come on. Stop playing games here and push up. You see, I'm price form this volume right here, and I'm <laughs> buying on the top end of this high volume, small little high volume area right here. The trade was right here where I had my, my level mark that I should have waited for it to, to come down there and hit it in a trade from that area, but I was early and aggressive on this trade. So hopefully we go ahead and get filled here. Just for a few ticks here, if we can get filled. There it goes. All right. I knew it would bounce in this area. I knew it would react in this area, and that's why I just took the trade too early. That's all it was. So, and it may try to push higher from here. We'll just wait and see. Okay, guys, I am taking a short entry here. I 
actually uh, maybe a little early on this trade. Let me take a look at one little thing here. 41. Okay. 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 Taking a short entry, going for a point on two contracts here, down to 39 and a quarter. The price may push a little bit lower. We'll see here. Come on. Okay, got fill there. Let me go ahead and put this last contract out here too, so I'll be if I can get filled here. Um uh, let me go ahead and get Okay, um, I'm trying to see what price is going to come down to, and I'll explain that trade there. Um, let's see. Okay, price probably going to come down to try to test at least the 37 area. Looks like it may come down to at least the 37 area. Hopefully it will. Looks like it's probably going to. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, 38. Actually, let's see. Yeah, somewhere between the 38 and 37 area. Are we at 38 yet? You know, 38 and a half. Yeah, I think it may just come as a few ticks lower, but it could bounce here. Let's see. Small area support below it. Um, Let me um, explain that trade. And one thing I didn't show so far was how many ticks I'm up so far today. I got 28 ticks right now. Okay. Um, so, and that gives a um, profit of 350 right now, $350. All right. Let's see. Price is bouncing at 38 and a half. All right, and the reason why I took that trade it was there's an area of resistance, guys. Uh, you can see it here on the 60 minute. See this right here? Area of resistance, this big swing to the downside. All right, so there's an area of resistance there, and I'll show you. Yeah, see price coming down, trying to come down. It could bounce here though, like I said, but it could also it could come down. It's bouncing right here at 38, okay? And that's the area where it could bounce at. Um, it could come down at 37, but, you know, you just got to know where price is going to kind of bounce to. But um, the reason being there was rejection. There's a, the resistance right here, okay, guys? You can wait for the rejection. Uh, and that's what I did here. So I looked at my 12 range. I saw a price pushed up. As it was pushing up, it hit the area of resistance right here, okay? It pulled back, all right? Push higher. Taking it out, taking this little high here out by a tick or two, all right? And then when I looked at my full range chart, I saw some, the same thing going on here and price not wanting to push any higher. Okay, there it goes. See, I knew it would come a little lower. Um, it's going to come down here and probably test the, the lows right here, this little swing right here uh, in that area right there. So either way, and it's approaching the lower end of this high volume area. So. That's you want to take a trade from from the from the top of how volume mirror if you're going short, okay? And let it let it flow on down to the to the to the lower end of the high volume area. But price broke slightly above this little swing high right here, okay? Slightly above, okay? It didn't close a, a, a candle above, a full candle above, or anything like that. So that's kind of a notion right there that 
there wasn't enough strength in the market to push the market higher. The banks and institutions wanted to stop the market right there. They wanted to collect that area of uh, that money sitting right there, resting right there at that area of resistance. And then they turn back around to push the market lower. And by them pushing the market just by a tick or two above that little high right there, that's their way of stopping traders out. Stopping those traders out there that enter sell positions to continue pushing the market lower, okay? All right? So when they push the market higher, they stopped them out, collected that money by a tick or two. Their new stops were sitting there. They blessed through those stops or hit those stops, and now they're pushing the market the opposite direction, of course, right? It just makes sense. All right? So what would happen here? All right? We can go along here, and I'll show you. Okay, I'm going along. Going along for a point here. I'll show you what they're doing. I'll show you what the banks are doing. You see that already? It's almost hit my profit target already by one tick. It may pull back here a little bit before it continues pushing higher. That's okay. See it hit my profit target already? All right. It's hitting it, hitting it, hasn't filled. Boom, cleared it. Simple as that. You got to know what the banks and institutions are doing. You got to know what they're trying to do. You got to know what the big players in the market are doing, okay? So they took out that area right there to stop sellers out. They turned back around, pushed the market lower, okay, to collect the money on this end here. And now, you know, they are uh, uh, pushing the market. Well, right now they're, basically what they did was they they, sw they pushed the market higher, collecting that air liquidity at their air resistance right there, okay? And when they did that, turn the market back around, you gotta look for their, you gotta look for the rejection and go short with them. Go short with them, that's the key. That is the key. So I saw that happening. When I saw that happening, I entered into a short. When I saw rejection sitting right here, I entered, entered into a, to a short, guys, and that's that's just what they do. You you got to know what they're trying to do. That's the key to it. Okay, so that's why I went um, short and then turned around and went long again because they're going to come back up here and possibly test want to test. I don't know thirty nine area. It could bounce right here at thirty eight or thirty eight and a half. It could come just a little a couple of ticks more and hit thirty nine, and then. That's probably the, the area they're targeting, whatever the case is. But that's just the the market. I'm looking at the micro levels in comparison to what the, you know, what what the the move itself, or what the following the um, uh, the big players in the market, what they're trying to do, what their end goal is. Okay, so boom, they're hitting 39 right now. They're already hitting 39 area, and 39 is yes, it is uh, an area of uh, resistance right there. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Yeah. So that's what I was looking for, guys. I'm looking for, looking for those areas like that. I'm following what the banks are doing. I'm following the big players in the market are doing. You ride their coattail and you'll make money. All right. So let's just look at the, um, trade performance here and let's see. Okay. Now I'm up 36 ticks. I had 28. Now I'm up 36. All right. So just in a small little time frame of trading, I think I've been trading for, I don't know, maybe 30, 35, 40 minutes now. And I'm up uh, $450. So, um, you know, you guys can do the same thing. Same exact thing. Just understand what the big players in the market are doing. Follow price action. Be able to read the market. You got to know what they're doing and, 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 and follow them. Um, so... I'm not telling anyone not to follow the strategy that you already learned or whatever the case is, but sometimes you really got to like take a step back and look to see if you're actually doing the right thing. If you're trading the right way, um, trading, like I keep saying, is not a red light, green light, you know, type of uh, um, business, you know, because it's treated as a business. Uh, if you're day trading and this is your way of making money, it, it's a business to you, you know. Um, it's just a better business because you're your own, you you are your own boss and you control your own destiny as far as how much you want to make, how, how long you want to stay in the market. I'm not greedy, so you know I just take what I can get and get out. I just look at look for setups. Um, so if you feel you may be doing the wrong thing or 
following someone that gave you the wrong wrong advice or show you the wrong way or 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 content, you know you're following people that are selling you indicators whatever the case is I don't use indicators guys I mean in a sense like I don't use them you know I don't I don't I don't really look at the you know EMAs and things like that I'm not saying they don't they don't may not help steer you um to maybe stay a trade longer whatever the case is if you're a trend trader but I think maybe those type of things may may work for uh position or swing traders what did I say what did I say guys 44.39, okay, I count the 44.40, boom, my point, you know, I, I'm pretty dead on to where the price is going to stop and pause that before it decides what, what's it wants to, what, what it wants to do next. So getting back to what I was saying, um, in trading, guys, if you feel like you're doing the wrong thing or you're not, you know, you feel like well, I'm, I'm, I'm having more loses than losses, my win to loss uh, ratio or, or margin or whatever the case is, is low, whatever the case is, you have to be able to figure out what possibly you're doing wrong and take a step back and say well maybe how i'm learning how i learn how to trade is maybe not the correct way maybe not i mean pure i'm gonna give you i keep saying this if you're a new trader and watching this video here right now um what i can tell you right now to do is uh learn price action first and foremost learn price action trade a bare naked chart nothing on it i guarantee you if you trade a, a naked chart with nothing on it and learn price action you're going to stick to that you're going to stick to it because that is the holy grail of trading it's the only way to trade is to understand price action and by understanding price action price movements it's going to help you understand what the markets what, what the, the big players in the market the banks institutions what they're really trying to do you follow them and that's the way to actually trade guys and that's the only way to trade like i keep saying it's not if you're reading a book you read it to understand the material, whether it's something that you're learning for your job or something for, for, for school or whatever the case is, if you're in college or whatever it is, um, to understand the concepts, to understand the the uh, theory, to understand whatever it is that, that, that you must gain the information from that particular uh, book that you're reading. It's the same thing. You read the structure of the market. You read and follow what's going on versus having to read words. You have to follow this visually. And when, how you follow visually is through those paint, those, those candlesticks. It's painting a picture for you. So follow that, guys. Be able to read that. Price action. It took me a while. I'm not even going to sit here and even front a lot to you guys. It took me a while to um, learn price action because I probably just like many of you guys out there, learn the incorrect way okay and then i had to take a step back and i had to go back to the drawing board probably multiple times to figure this out and i did but let me tell you what i had to do i had to watch the old thoughts the old habits that i had inside my mind and what i learned maybe from, from someone else take them completely out of my head and start fresh all over again wash all the old habits away and start new that's what i had to do i had to go back to ground zero and start over and eventually, I became slowly uh, successful. My win, my uh, uh, win to loss trade, uh, my win to loss ratio or, or margin, whatever, slowly started to go up, go up. Meaning, I was having more wins than I was having losses. When you start to show have consistency in your trading, in your trading, then that's when you know you're onto it. Okay, and then it's going to click, and you're going to say, "Gracious, it took me this long to get here." And not everyone, it may not take you as long, but just feel confident about yourself. Feel good about yourself. It's just like when you, anything else you do in life, you know, when you've defeated it, what happens? You feel confident. You feel good. So eventually, guys, you will become great at this, okay? It's no scientific, like, calculation. It's no scientific, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, mathematical formula to figure this out. It's just simply just being able to read. Read the market. That's all it is. So, guys, I appreciate everyone who's watched the video today. Stay tuned for the next videos, guys. This is my live recording uh, session of me trading live, but it also giving informative information about, you know, what you possibly may need to do. I'm not telling you that you need to, but what you possibly may need, need to do because that's what I had to do. I had to re-gear. I had to wash this mind of mine out and, and start fresh and start coming up with better ideas. And, and figuring out solutions to things that maybe I was possibly doing wrong. And that's where I went and started trading from a bare naked chart. The only thing you guys see on my charts right now is the volume profile. That's it. Because volume is important. Okay? To me. It, I mean, it's, it's important in general. So just, you know, take that for what it is. And um, guys, I thank everyone for watching the video. If you don't mind, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching, 
I hope you got some information, some good valuable information out of watching the video today. Go back and watch some of my other videos where I live day trade or, or my, my, my live day trading uh, recorded sessions are posted on my channel. And I'll also give little tidbits away and talk about things. I have nothing to hide, nothing to sell, nothing to hide. So uh, what do I have to gain? I just want you as a, as a subscriber. I hope you become a follower. That's all it is because um, it's just something that I told myself a while back. And I think everyone personally, like, you, you can't go through life. Well, we're here today and going tomorrow, right? Okay, so we don't live forever. Uh, we're not immortal. So, um, in a sense of, in the, you know, physical form, I should say. Um, so, what I'm trying to say is that, me personally, I wanted to be able to find a way to give back. And this is my way of giving back in the sense of helping someone else out. Maybe many people out in a way. Maybe it's something that you've been struggling trying to figure out for years. Uh, well, here I am. I'm trying to help someone out. I'm trying to show you uh, my trading which i'm i just trade price action i look to see what and follow the the coattail of what the market um uh what the the banks are doing the big institutions are doing and uh i kind of focus on you know keep my mind focused on that and and, and that, that's just the way i do it so i want to be able to share my wisdom or my knowledge of 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 my trading experience over the years and, and what I've learned and what to do, what not to do, whatever the case is. So I hope someone gains, you know, some um, beneficial, um, you know, knowledge or, you know, hope this information helps someone out there. So thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Take care. Stay safe in the market if you're trading. As I always say, take care.